Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I'll be showing you how to add a really nice and clean floating share bar to your WordPress website. So let's get stuck straight in. And the first thing you want to do is you want to add a new plugin called Sumo Me. Um, so if you've never added a new plugin to your WordPress site, um, you can easily do that by going to the left hand side and going to plugins. And then you just want to go add new. And now we can search for the plugin, and again it's Sumo Me, S-U-M-O-M-E. And it should be the first one that comes up. And Sumo Me itself is a free plugin to download, um, and it's really versatile. Um, you can kind of add kind of extensions to the plugin itself, um, which really allows you to customize it. And also it keeps up to date um, with kind of the current looking social sharing buttons that are out there. Um, because they can get very um, kind of outdated very fast. So this is a really good plugin and it's always um, got regular updates as well. So if you go ahead and click install now. And that has been successfully installed and now we can go to activate plugin. And as soon as that is um, activated and downloaded, you'll see just on the top right hand corner of your dashboard, there's a little blue kind of rec um, little rectangle that pops out. Um, you can click on that or also you can go to the bottom left hand corner and there'll be a new addition there called Sumo Me. Um, but today I'll go to the first option and I'll click on this blue square. And um, since I have downloaded this before, um, I already have signed in. Um, but if you're new to the Sumo Me plugin, it will ask you to make an account just by um, putting your email address in there and um, creating an account. Um, so once you have done that, then you can go into the home of the Sumo Me plugin. And what you want to do is you want to go to the Sumo store first off. And then if you scroll down to sharing and click on share. And then click on open or free. And that will install the share kind of extension onto the Sumo Me plugin. And from there, um, you can kind of really customize the look and the feel of the sharing um, floating bar. So I'll go to settings here on the left hand side. And as you can see here, um, you have the selected services and the available services as well. Um, so I have Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, and Reddit at the moment. So I think I'll put in LinkedIn, remove Pinterest, and put in a Facebook like. And then if you keep scrolling down, there's a few more options here as well. Um, but I'm pretty happy with those, so I'm just going to save that. And then the really good thing about this plugin is... Um, you can you can position the floating share bar where you'd really like to put it. Um, so if you go over to the left hand side again to layout and then kind of it's just like a point to where you'd like the floating share bar to be. Um, so I generally always have it on the left hand side um, to the far frame of the website. So I'm just going to click on that and then you can also choose a mobile version as well which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to leave that as is and then I'm just going to go over to save and that's saved and pretty much it's as simple as that guys. Um, so now we can go to our website and have a look at our new floating share bar. Awesome guys. So there we go. We have our floating share bar on the left hand side of our screen and as you can see it really, it really does look nice and clean and as you hover over each icon it kind of um, bolds um, the icon itself. And then you also have a tally of how much um, it's been shared as well. And um, it's a really nice, clean looking share bar. Um, so hopefully this has helped you. And um, if you have any other kind of ideas or videos you'd like to see, please comment down below. And also if you have liked this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And as always guys, thanks for watching.